Finley, first of all, thank you so much for meeting with us uh, while we're on our time to talk to her. It's great to have you here and we are very grateful for that. Uh, this is Suzanne. I'm Karen. I'm Finley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the sort of things we're really interested in asking about is why you think it's important to talk about mental health. So certainly, I mean, I, I've, I may be covering a question from later. I've lost too many people to not see that mental health is something that needs to be spoken about. I mean, my twin brother and I both struggled with it growing up. We both expressed issues with our mental health in different ways. We made a video about it. So yeah. his his expressed in a very sort of closed down way in that he stopped working, he stopped working out and he's yeah, he started getting into like a really dark place. Whereas mine manifests through I was drinking a lot, I was taking tablets, I was blocking but still functioning. So we kinda of went down two different routes. We were both struggling but neither of us would speak to each other about it. And it wasn't until we reached the crisis point where he had said he made an attempt on his life that I said, actually, I tried that two years ago. And that moment was very awakening for us. And actually, one of the things that we did with the video we did for the BBC was we actually spoke to each other openly about it, details that we hadn't shared before. Yes. And so it was actually, the, the little snippet was actually a really candid conversation with my twin brother and I looking at how we've used um, different coping strategies to improve our mental health and move us out of danger. But since then, we've seen a lot of even our friends and people we grew up with um, lose that and suffer. 